Whether you're just making YouTube videos or doing professional video work, it really sucks when you have a lot of background noise in your audio, like this. In this video, we'll show you an incredibly simple way to denoise your audio for free using Audacity. We've actually been using this exact method for every video on this channel for months now. The first step is to make sure you're using a decent microphone. We're actually using the Rode Video Micro on-camera microphone with a boom pole right here. And you can actually check out how we did the setup by clicking the card above. Another option is to use an external recorder. Just hook up a lav mic and clip it onto your shirt. The Zoom H1 is a really good budget choice for an external recorder. It can record directly to a micro SD card in lossless WAV format. Whichever method you choose, make sure to set the gain properly so you don't blow out your audio. Also, never use auto gain, as it'll constantly raise and lower the volume and the amount of noise in your audio. Now let's get on to the noise removal. The key is to find a section of audio that only contains your noise, without any sounds of movement or breathing. After you hit record, have everyone in the room stay completely silent and still. The person behind the microphone should then hold their breath and clap. After at least 5 seconds of complete silence, clap again and move on with recording the video. This will make it really easy to isolate the section of audio that we want to use for the denoising process. Don't worry about stopping and starting new clips. You only need to do this once as long as your audio settings and noise stay the same. Now the reason for holding your breath is that if you have breathing in your noise profile, it'll try to denoise it and it'll end up making your voice sound really weird and unnatural. Now head to your computer and open your audio file in Audacity. You can download it for free at audacityteam.org. Now of course, if you recorded your audio through your camera input, you won't have an audio file. The solution is to head into your video editing application and export the audio by itself. We personally use Final Cut Pro 10, but you should be able to do this with whatever software you have. Throw your video clips onto an empty timeline, then click File, Share, Master File, click Settings, change the format to audio only, and then export it. You should now have audio files that can be opened in Audacity. Now that you have your audio track, locate and zoom in on the silent section of your recording, which should be easy to find since there should be two spikes in your track from the claps. Now click and drag the audio in between those spikes to select it, and press the spacebar to listen to it and make sure there is no breathing or other unexpected sounds. Adjust the selection if there is. Now with the silent section of the audio selected, go to Effect, Noise Reduction, and click Get Noise Profile. Now press Command plus A on a Mac or Control plus A on a PC to select the whole track. Go back into the Noise Reduction settings and click OK. You can adjust the settings to your liking, but we found these settings to be the best for us. Now make sure not to delete sections of your audio, as this will cause sync issues in your video. Once finished, you can play it back and listen to it to make sure it sounds good. If not, you can undo the noise reduction and adjust the settings. When you're happy with it, click File, Export Audio, and save it. Head back into Final Cut and drop your new audio file directly below your video clips. It should sync up perfectly. Now disable the original audio on each video clip and make any adjustments to the crop, colors, or anything else you usually do. Now select all, right click on a clip, and click new compound clip. After creating one, your audio and video will be synced into one clip, ensuring that the audio won't accidentally get moved and go out of sync. Thanks for watching guys, this is Vadim. Make sure to hit subscribe and enable notifications and let us know how this method worked out for you in the comment section below.